Hey everyone, Titan Cardinal here. Um, this is my first video explaining anything that I've ever written, and I'm going to start with why it takes me so long to update Mushroom High. <sighs> well, here goes. There's all the obvious reasons, like, oh, I'm busy, I have my own social life, um, and all of that. Like, example, um, I have exams coming up this week, so I'm going to be studying like crazy for that. Um, but after next Tuesday, I will be done with my finals and I will be on break. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you can expect an update from me, because reason number two. I have recently gotten into a relationship with pretty much the best guy I have ever met, and so I'm pro most of my free time goes to spending time with him, and so I don't really think about writing as much as I used to. Um. Reason number three why I don't update very often might come as a shock to my readers, but I absolutely, positively hate writing Mushroom High. The only reason why I continue to write it is because I have the entire story plotted out in my mind and I just want to get it written out so I can get it out of my head and hopefully my readers will still like it. Now the reason why I hate it so very much is because I am an adult and I feel like I'm writing for young teenagers. I feel like maybe my oldest reader is maybe 14. I don't know that for sure. I don't know how old any of you are. But for some reason I feel like the maturity level of the people who read this story are very young. And so I feel like I'm being held back by this story. Like I can tell by when I started writing it two years ago that <coughs> the my maturity level has gone up, my writing talent has seemed to have improved, but the more I read over the story, the more I realize that the plot is kind of dumb, so I don't really enjoy going over my own writing and seeing all the mistakes that I've made. <sighs> well, now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, I thought maybe I would share a couple of secrets about my character. Well, not really secret secrets, but a couple of explanations behind my characters. Olive and Rose. Apple isn't really my character. That is my friend Sam's character. No. Uh, whose character was that? <sighs> that was Dragon's character. That's who that will belong to. It was Dragon's. Um, well, anyway, uh, I used to have to check with Dragon to see if Apple was in character, but I seem, I think that I've pinned her down well enough to um, have her pretty much, pretty much perfect as I can get her, but I just really liked the idea of Wario and Waluigi having an older sister, so I was very glad that Dragon came up with Apple, and when she said that she wanted Apple and Bowser to be a couple, I just thought that was the best idea ever, so I just went with it. 
Um, if you want more information on Apple, just let me know and I'll contact Dragon and see what she can dig up or remember about her character. Um, anyway, Rose. Um, as everyone can tell, Rose is sort of like, just this sort of does her own thing, really goes out to get what she wants, and isn't going to let anything get in her way. Um, though, as everyone can also tell, she does have a soft spot for people who are important to her, and obviously she is growing a weakness for Wario. Why? She doesn't know. Because Tart- because TK wills it. Sorry, Rose. Um, but she, um, she'll do anything to protect Olive. Anything. Because Olive is like her little sister. Um, she really doesn't like her home life. Um, she she really doesn't like her father. Um, there is a reason behind that, but that will be explained in later chapters, maybe. If I ever forget to explain it, I'll make another video explaining why. Um, as for Olive, um, she has, her personality kind of is very misleading to what her past was like. Um, I won't explain what her past was like, but, because that definitely will come into play in the later stories, um, but she, her, her past really is misleading to how she acts now. Um, she is very friendly. She really tries to be friends with everybody, but um, when Waluigi mistreated her, she figured that it was best for her to, to just leave him alone and not even try with him anymore. But she is starting to think maybe he's not as bad as he makes himself out to be. And I'm sure all of you are thinking, of course he's not that bad. Why are you making him seem like such a bad person? Well, no, I don't think anyone's thinking that, but, you know. Um, as for their names, Olive and Rose, um, there are... As for Rose, the reason why I picked her name was I was going off of how Daisy and Peach were both a food and a flower, and so I chose Rose because... Oh, hang on. Why, hello there. Hello. We have a serious question for you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like a poll. What are we doing? No, wait. You're Alicia. Can we, we ask need your help. question? Please come here. Okay. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. I'll continue this later.